Hello and welcome to another episode of Go To Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be continuing on that Intel HD 530 uh, graphics testing, and we're going to take a look at Battlefield 4, which is another one that has been uh, requested a lot by you guys. So we'll just uh, go ahead and take a look and see what kind of frame rates we get and what kind of settings we can get away with. Alright, so before we get started with uh, the test here, I just wanted to go over the uh, system spec. It, it's not this system back here, this is my new X99A uh, platform uh, with the i7-6800K, so we're not going to be testing with that, because that does not have any integrated graphics, so uh, that's not the purpose of this particular video. Uh, the, the system I'm going to be using is the one that I have downstairs, which is a Skylake system. Uh, so that's my uh, Intel Core i3-6100 um, and I am running 2x4 uh, gigabytes, so 8 gigabytes in dual channel of uh, DDR4 3000 megahertz um, and also running off an SSD. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the battlefield uh, results that we get. And again, uh, please don't judge me for my gameplay. Uh, I tend to test games that I'm not very good at. Uh, so yeah, let's just start playing.
All right, so there you have it. Those are the results of Battlefield 4 on the Intel HD 530 graphics using the uh, Intel Core i3-6100. Um, so I used another option, uh, if you've noticed, and that was running at 900p. And that's uh, similar to what consoles will do on more demanding titles, but they don't want to run at low settings. Um, so 1080p on Battlefield 4, it's just rough across the board. Even when you've set all the settings to low, uh, it's barely getting 30 frames per second, and that's on the high end. Uh, the lows dip much lower than that, and it's just completely uh, just not playable. And high, forget about it. I mean, you're like 15 to 20 frames per second, so 1080p. I mean, unless you put it to low, you can maybe, maybe squeeze by with it, but I just don't recommend it. Uh, 900p, uh, uh, high, uh, gosh, the, the frame rates are still kind of questionable. I mean, I think you're getting kind of in the, the 30 range, but uh, man, the lows still get too jittery for me. Uh, you can start getting away with it at medium settings. And low settings is plenty playable, but I I hate playing on low settings if I can get away if I can get away with not using low settings. And then 720p, um, when you're at low settings, you get the 60 frames per second, but you're at 720p low, and it's just not a good gaming experience. You could get away with it in a pinch if that's what you wanted, uh, but uh, 720 high. You know, you were looking at about 30 frames per second and 720 medium, it's about 45 frames per second. So if you're okay with, um, you know, having a little bit lower resolution to get the, the higher graphics quality, uh, you know, 720p medium or high, you know, you get decent uh, frame rates. But I, I found kind of the best compromise in all of it was uh, the 900p medium. Uh, your, your dips are kind of in the 30s, but you're not quite getting up to 40, but it's still playable. Um, now, competitively, I don't even bother, but if you just want to play casually and if you're waiting for your graphics card, you can play Battlefield 4. It will play it. It's just you have to make compromises. We saw the same thing with Crisis and other titles. Uh, so anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for requesting uh, Battlefield 4 uh, for testing on the Intel Skylake uh, HD 530 graphics. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel below. Uh, like the video if you liked it. I've started a Patreon uh, support as well, uh, so check out that link there. Uh, use the Amazon affiliate links. It helps the channel greatly. I'm able to pick up games like Battlefield 4. I'm also open to... Uh, you know, if there's a certain game that you want me to play and I don't have it, I'm, I'm open to Steam codes or Origin codes or Battle.net codes uh, for things like Overwatch. Um, I have not been able to get that one yet. Um, so if you'd like to see that, um, yeah, th those are different ways you can help make that happen. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching and we will catch you next week.